Hey YouTube, this is Hake here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to uh, remove Slim Cleaner Plus off your computer. This is a uh, potentially unwanted software that commonly gets installed or bundled in the installation of other software that you may download online. And a lot of people don't know where this comes from, so you either download something online and it comes bundled in the installation of that software and uh, that's how it gets in and uh, what this is is basically it's a paid PC optimizer tool and uh, it is no use for you it's annoying it pops up all the, all the time on your computer and when you have this what it will do is it will start claiming that you got a lot of problems with your computer but in order to for, to uh, remove the frets it wants you to purchase the full version so uh, again this is a potentially unwanted program and uh, it there's other tools out there that will help you optimize your computer so when you get this this is what it looks like and it basically lists all these problems with your computer and the, the program here doesn't provide basically any benefit to you unless you buy the full version so I'm going to show you how to remove this program for for you and uh, yeah, let's get to it. So what you want to do here is you want to uh, go down to the very bottom here of your uh, start menu here and right click, right click, go into task manager. And we'll have to look for it running in task manager. And here it is. So what you want to do is just right click and end the progress. And now that will kill that progress. Okay, so depending on if you have the icon for Slim Cleaner Plus on your desktop, you want to right click on that and you want to go into properties and click and this will give us the uh, actual directory where this is installed to alright so this is where the the programs installed to for some reason it's not allowing us to open file location so that's alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the start menu now this is gonna be similar for Windows uh, 8 as well so what you want to do is actually right click the start menu And you want to go into control panel. If you're running on Windows 7, you know, or Windows uh, XP, you click your start menu and you'll find your control panel on the start menu. Okay, so you want to get into the control panel and click uninstall a program. And in here you'll find it. Just, do you want to uninstall that? Click yes. And that will go ahead and uninstall it for you. So once that's on installed, you still actually have not completely removed it. You probably have leftover files and stuff and other potentially unwanted software on your computer. So what I recommend you to do is to uh, download a program called uh, Arkale from Bleeping Computers website. It's free to download, and what this program basically does, it's uh, program that will scan your your uh, processes in the computer and uh, terminate anything that may be malicious so you can run security software. So go ahead, download Arkill, the link for this will be in the description box. So once you download Arkill, you want to run it. And it will open up the command prompt. And it's going to start terminating malware processes that are possible running. Now it may or may not find any malware processes running. So if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's okay. So what you want to do is once you let Arco run, it opens up the command prompt. Just let it do its job. What it's doing is it's searching for anything that may be malicious in your computer. And it will attempt to end that progress for you. So you can uh, run your security software. And uh, what we'll do after this is we'll scan the computer with something called Malwarebytes and uh, an ADW Cleaner and Hitman Pro, and then we'll be good to go. So we'll just give this a minute.
All right, so once our kill is completed, it's going to say you are now able to run your normal security software so that you can scan your computer for infections. The log will be created on your desktop. And uh, on this log, it will tell you what processes it's found and terminated, what services that may have been malicious that it's found and terminated. It will tell you if they found any malicious registry keys that may be present on your computer. And uh, you can now exit out of the log, right? And uh, the next step to do is to download a few other programs. Now, before we put Malwarebytes on here, we're going to scan our system with something called Junkware Removal Tool. ADW cleaner and then malware bytes anti malware. So uh, the next thing you want to do is open up your browser. And again, if you don't have these softwares, I have a link for the RKL and uh, all these programs in the description box. So you can click on them from there. Okay. So uh, open up your browser, right? Junkware removal tool. In. And uh, we'll get this one off Bleeping Computer's website. And what Junkware Removal Tool is, is similar to, to the RKL, just that it removes malware as well. It will check your startup, your processes again. And it will also check for some infections, modified changes to your uh, security sentence, and, you know, and try to correct those issues. And it's another software, this Junkware Removal Tool, that we need to run. And it also will start to scan for any uh, unwanted software that was similar to Slim Cleaner Plus that may be on your system. So go ahead and download the Junk Wave Removal Tool. And uh, we'll run that. And again, it opens up in the command prompt. It's going to say disclaimer. It's, use it at your own risk. It's made by Malwarebytes. And it will say here, press any key to continue. So go ahead and press any key to continue. So it's going to go ahead and try to create a system restore point. And uh, I'm running on a virtual computer, so it didn't work for me. So it's going to go ahead and check processes, startup, scheduled tasks, services, and you just want to let it do its thing. File system. It's going to go ahead and check your browser for any uh, thing that may be... Uh, malicious like security settings or maybe you have some extensions on your browser that's been installed that's that you don't want so it will go ahead and check your browser so at this point you just need to let our kill really do its job i mean sorry junkware removal to just do its job and when that's complete i'll uh, unpause this video and go over the next step Okay, when Junkware Removal 2 is done, it will go ahead and it will start to list what it's found and deleted. And you can see here, it found that Slim Cleaner Plus right here. So uh, it once the uh, Junkware Removal tool is complete, it will list another log and it will basically state what it's found, what it's deleted. So whatever it's found here is likely malicious. So you can go ahead and exit out of that and we're going to download something called ADW Cleaner next. So open up your browser again and download ADW Cleaner. And again, the link for this one is also in the description box. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll click download now. All right, so once you download it, open up the file and run it. And when you get ADW Cleaner, when you first open it, you click Agree. And uh, click Scan. And that will go ahead and that will scan your computer for anything else. It's 
So I'll pause that while that's scanning. All right, so once ADW Cleaner has done its scan, with your mouse, you can click on the folders, files, styles, search, shortcuts, scheduled tasks, registry. So you can click on these tabs, and right here it will find what it's detected, what it's found. So uh, again, there's part of that Slimware Utilities. It's probably just a leftover registry key, which is all right. We're going to remove all that. So uh, by clicking on these tabs, this program will list what kind of uh, potentially unwanted software or adware or malware it's found. And uh, what you want to do is you want to click clean it. And uh, it will say all programs will be closed in order to complete the removal. So just click OK. And it's going to say if you've been bought to use CClean, it's probably because your PC pertained to potentially unwanted programs or adware. And it will tell you that uh, during the installation of software, you, you, this basically makes sure you download how you to download off trustworthy sites so you don't end up with stuff like slum cleaner and you know so just click OK and what it's going to do is it's going to say you just restart the computer to complete the removal progress process so just go ahead and uh, click OK and that will restart your computer and when it boots back up we'll download malware bytes and run a scan and after that we'll be, we'll be uh, good to say that this computer is completely clean so uh, while this is restarting, I'll pause the video. Alright, so once the computer restarts, it's going to pop up again with Notepad. And this will generate another log and it will tell you what it's found, what it's removed. And uh, Slimware Utilities, which is part of that PC, uh, the Slim Optic Cleaning Optimizer software that you had. So, uh, yeah, so it will find what it's found, what it's deleted, and it will get, it just populates another log. You can now exit out of that log and open up your browser and download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And uh, perform a scan with that, and then after that, we'll be done with removing this off the computer. So, do a search for Malwarebytes. We'll download this one off Bleeping Computer. Or, no, sorry, off their official website here. Click download. And then here we're going to download free. Get the download free one. It'll pop up the file. So we'll wait for that to download. And if you ended up getting the stuff like uh, this uh, unwanted software, like this program here, I recommend you buy the full version of Malwarebytes because it will protect you against potentially unwanted programs such as Slim PC Cleaner. So uh, that is if you, if your other antivirus solution let that through, I definitely recommend you get something like Malwarebytes and activate the full version of it. And when you download this, you get the 30-day free trial of a fully functional copy and the free trial, and you can still use Malwarebytes, so if you don't want to buy it, you can still use it and scan your computer and remove malware off of it for free. The full version just protects you, so if you want better protection from Malwarebytes, buy the full version. You can still use this program without having to buy it, so it's completely free to uh, scan your computer and remove malware and it does a very effective job so once Malwarebytes is downloaded we'll uh, wait for that to open and the nice thing about Malwarebytes is it can run alongside other antivirus software that you may have that won't cause any conflict so don't uh, worry um, it's going to update for you once you first get Malwarebytes and uh, Once that's updated, you'll click scan and uh, just wait for that scan button to appear. It's because it's updating. So we'll just wait for the update to complete. All right, so we'll click scan now. And that will start a scan on our computer. And uh, at this point of the video, I'm going to stop it because from here it's pretty straightforward. You want to run the scan with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. And uh, what, if it finds anything else, it will allow you to remove it. So uh, just uh, let it run its scan and uh, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching my video and if you need further help,
I can offer remote support if you want, so I can help uh, do this for you. You have to uh, click the link in the description box and send me a message on Facebook, and I'll try to get back to you and help you if you couldn't uh, remove this program yourself. And uh, thanks for watching the uh, video, and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. So from this point, once again, just let malware bytes run, and uh, when it finds stuff, if it and the scan's complete, just follow the positive on-screen instructions and let it and click remove and uh, it will restart your computer if it finds anything and then that's good. And I did say you should buy the full version of Malwarebytes if your current antivirus solution let uh, the Sim PC Cleaner thing in. So uh, thanks for watching this video and remember to comment, write, and subscribe.